What's up, everyone? It's Poop Terry here again for day 22. Whew! Day 22 of Terry's Descent into Madness. So then, for day 21, we played Resident Evil Remake. The remake of Resident Evil 1. Ho ho! For day 22, we've got not a Scooby-Doo of what we're playing today. For that joyous moment I think I can't think of the words my, my brain is it's mush it's like dust or something there's not a lot in there at the moment these few weeks have just boiled me boiled <laughs> I don't know what I'm fucking saying oh this wheel decides what we're playing next that's what I'm trying to get out to you but my mind is like Blech. there's nothing there but before this bastard of a wheel decides what we're playing I get to shuffle I'm shuffling there's 28 games left on this list how many are left to play? 9? Nine? 9? yesterday was day 21 that was 10 so it must be 9 only 9 days left Whoa! joyous something to be excited about Right, that'd be enough shuffling for today, Terence. Good God. Whew, are we ready? Let's spin that wheel. No. Oh, Christ. Oh, I was more worried for Silent Hill 2, but this is just as bad. Oh, God, Amnesia, Justine. I don't think I've seen anything for Justine. I've seen bits of Machine for Pigs, but nothing for this. So this is going to be a treasure. Oh, God, as you can hear, the enthusiasm is all gone for me today. It might be back tomorrow, but for today... Oh, I just cannot be asked. Cannot be asked. Oh, let's see how this goes, shall we? So, for... D d for t I can't speak. I can't speak and I've got to play the game yet. So, for day 22, we're playing Amnesia Justine. Let's head on over. So then, here we are for day 22? Was it 22? We'll just say day 22 for day 22! of Terry's Descent into Madness. We are back in Amnesia, but this time playing Amnesia Justine. I have not played this one before. I don't think I've seen anything for this one before. So, um, yeah, this should be different. Well, hopefully, can't imagine it'd be much different to Dark Descent. But anyway, when we did Dark Descent, we had a bit of trouble with that recording wise so hopefully fingers crossed touching word and praying to all god Taraya that um everything turns out all right first time so then start new game yes got no idea what this one is about And what is that?
listening to the sound of my disembodied voice. It will serve you no purpose to look for me, for this is a voice from the past. I bid you welcome to my cabinet of perturbation. It is my study of the human psyche, specifically yours. A set of recordings have been prepared to chaperone you through the chambers ahead. There are a few parts to this study, and it is up to you, not only to pass, but to figure out what elements are important. Please go on. Move into the next chamber. Just remember, they can all be safe. There is always a way. Righty ho ho. Well, we still have notes, diaries, and mementos. We have a lantern. No oil or tinder boxes, so that's all pretty much the same. My sanity is crystal clear. Hello? And that was... Nope! No one's home! Tatty boys. <laughs> Jesus. That's it, back her off. No, thank you. Whoops. I have no idea what the Christ is going on.
I don't know how to get you out, mate. Can I break it open? I'm here. Who knows then? Did we go in this one? Oh, a note. Forgive me. I was waiting for a voice to play apart from some random noise and applause. Anyway, Justine, my love. I know I am not as talented as Mallow or as strong as Basil, but I am certain my love is truer. Do not my scars tell you so? I will continue to cut myself as long as it pleases you. I would even kill Basil if you wish. I know you say you like it, but he is hurting you. I will trick him to consume the bromide. Poor Justine, it will help. Just ask me to help. Aloy. I think that's how you say it. Okie dokie, artichoke. There aren't some strange ass people going on. Right. What do we do with this shitting ladder? I'm taking this mattress. <laughs> right, okay. I uh, don't know what you set is going to be. Can we go up there? I don't know, Terry. How did you escape? Whoops. Another note. How did I miss this one? A new plan. Le 22nd April 1858. Salutation, Inspector Marod of the Sire National. As you very well know, the Chief of Police in Calais has turned down my request to pursue Justine Flobel for stealing my son away. Ever since their affair started, Alloy, my son, has forsaken his duties to his family and failed to pursue his career. Since the law seems unable to find a crime within the realm of Mademoiselle Justine's actions, I will ask you to, re to receive Dr. Victor Fournier later this week. He is a respectable alienist an expert in the human psyche, and he believes he may have found a legal way to incarcerate her. Carcerate. Jesus, I can't read. It's all these fancy words. If he is able to diagnose her as a hysteric, it would provide you an ample excuse to have her locked up. I trust you and your agency will not turn us down. Cordelia meant Lucien Racine. Whatever. I've probably got the majority of that wrong, pronunciation-wise, but whatevs. Trevs. No idea how you get that open. Oh, a ladder. Okie dokie.
Okie dokie. There's no cylinder. What do you mean, no cylinder? Still don't know what that bloody bit of ladder is for. <laughs> Jesus. Someone's been having some fun in here, haven't they? A note. Newspaper article, 19th of March, 1858. Travesty at the conservatory. Many Parisians have had gathered last night to enjoy the performance of violin virtuoso Melo de Vigny. It was to be the grand premiere of several new arrangements of songs by fellow composer Georges Bizet, but the evening took an unexpected turn. Young Melo de Vigny turned up visibly in intoxicated. His violin cried as the bow was jerked across his strings. The audience seemed forgiving at first, but started to boo at the man boo the man off stage as he defaced the beloved song at a rose et la biel whatever it said the stress apparently got the best of the young musician as he threw his bow into the audience and finally collapsed Mademoiselle Justine Flabelle who was according to rumours romantically involved with Monsieur de Vigny looked quite amused by the event and had two of her friends Basil Giroux and Eloi Ressien carrying off stage of course, she's got a fair few blokes on the go, isn't she? The evening was saved by other musicians at the conservatory, who was able to perform a most delightful impromptu concert in Melo de Vigny's ab absence. The audience showered their saviours with praise and calls for encore were awarded with spectacular pieces by both Offenbach and Chopin. Chopin! Playing some tunes. If you mean the man that was tied to that thing that I sort of killed, then, um, no, I did not save him, love. I couldn't work out how to. <laughs> Maybe because I'm stupid as shit, but whatever. Do, 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 do. Oh, this looks fancy. Library. The downstairs library still reminded her of father. All those hours spent there had fostered a sense of shelter. I think that was meant to be spent. Gramophone. On this next piece, you should be looking for some divine inspiration. Time to delve into your spiritual side. What do you see? Is the man begging for mercy, or is he being blessed? Perhaps both. Father used to say there were no right answers. Have the light to guide you. Okay. Shit me, it's dark. What are you? Picked up slide two. Oh god, it's too dark, isn't it? Yes, I know. What are we at, sanity-wise? All is fine. Beautiful. What have we got in here then? Many a book. Many a book. Slide one. Raid the drawers. Tinder box. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Another one. Got no oil yet for my lantern. Bit pissed about that, but can't do much about that if there is none. Results. 
The tests have, have been going well. The most long term and in the sense of most promising one is the light box. Having Justine choose a slide, essentially a mood for every day, is a great way to see the larger overall development of her mind. She definitely reads things into the slides I had not foreseen. Her remarkable imagination turns the characters into just about anything, and she's able to effort effortlessly Jesus I can't read reduce all her experiences into one of the four character slides using the puzzle lock has proven more difficult as she tends to always choose two slides with characters facing the same way I have asked her why this is but she doesn't seem to fully understand what I am asking right okay Please tell me these are statues. I would hope. Soul Journal Entries Justine, age 8. Today I played outside with Clarice. We saw a bird pick up a snail. It carried it off and landed on the lawn fence. The snail had a shell and it cracked. Clarice... Does that... Does that cried? It looks it. And I comforted her. The new maid heard us and came out and scolded Clarice for playing with me. The bird took off into the air. Today I was the one with open arms. Right. Justine, age nine. Today I played with the slides from Father's lightbox. Above all, I like the man standing to the right. Father asked why. I said he sees things he likes. Today I was the right one. Open arms. Right. Kneeling sword. Is this a puzzly thing? Maybe. Uh, Father said I picked the wrong slide yesterday when I made ch the chambermaid cry. He wanted me to pick the one with the sword. While I picked the man on the right, I never picked the one with the sword. Today I was the one kneeling. Today Father came for me in my room. That sounds wrong. I still couldn't look him in the eye. He said I shouldn't feel ashamed and that I only tried to fill the void left by mother. Oh, this does sound a bit wrong. When he wasn't looking, I took the star stone from his collection. Today I was the one with the sword. That sounds a fair bit wrong in my... Oh, Jesus. Who are you? Who's there? Fuck off. Whatever you say, mate. Turned our box. Oh, we've got about five now. Four. Eh, not bad, I guess. Not really been needing any, have we? No, not really no slide in here that I can see unless I be blind oh it's up there They've all got silhouettes of a man. Scaramouche, Scaramouche, will you do the fandango? Thunderbox and lightning, but... Very, very frightening me. Galileo, Galileo, Galileo Figaro. Oh, Mr. Popo, no. Right, so what was it? Open arms. Never yeah, thing is, mate. Shush. That sword. So open arms is one. I 
facing the right is four, so it's one four. Be three two one four three two. Stop it! Is that wrong? Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. The kingdom of this world are become the kingdom. Doesn't sound good for him. No idea. I thought I was doing something right, but maybe not. That was odd. No idea. No idea then.
Oh. This opened. I wonder, is Father David with his god now? Maybe you helped him there. Don't you worry. I'm sure he didn't have a family. He probably wasn't even all that well liked. With the current political climate, I'm surprised someone hasn't killed him already. We can't all be saved. Some don't even want to be saved. Yes. That is a comforting thought. Saves us from trying. She says in the beginning that everyone can be saved. Oh god, whack myself with the door. Yet I haven't I'm having the sneaky feeling that none of them can be saved for some bizarre reason. Oh, I see you. Hello. That's it, you bugger off. What's my, what's my sanity at? A slight headache, but health-wise, all is good. Shit! If I can't see you, you can't see me. Rude? Who are you calling a cunt, you arsehole? Prick, call me a cunt. Not meant to follow me, you dickhead. My sanity is not going well. Oh, why don't you just fuck off?
Go! Jesus. Oh, Jesus Christ. What's this one then? I'm sure you have figured out how it all works by now. Are you enjoying my quips? I think they are quite clever. Not that I was ever much of a conversationalist. Poetry has always been my forte. But I digress. You should press on. It will all be over soon. Also, the police are here. Maybe they can help you. Thank Christ for that. Coppers, why is it underwater? This is not at all fun. How are we doing sanity wise? Crystal clear. Fucking bullshit. Right. Uh, Jesus. Well, we ain't going that way. do we have in here? What are you? A liver. Nothing worthwhile in here then. Ah, that's a bit shit. No. Oh, fuck off. Ah, uh, what is this? So, a cogwheel is missing. Righty ho ho. Nothing else in here is there. Can't see anything. Oh, this is stressful. Right.
Sorry, mate. Got no time for you. <laughs> Jesus H. Christ. Oh, Jesus. Inspector Moreau, are you still with us? I'm looking forward to see if you managed to save him or not. I know very little about him, but surely he had a family, don't you think? Poor, poor fatherless children. But he falls on his own sword. His kind is not meant to come for people like me. Laws are made for credit. The aristocracy doesn't need to know right from wrong. We are always right. Mm, bullshit. And where did that body just go? This area looks fun. Unfinished letter. Le 2nd February 1832. Herbert! <laughs> I have contacted the consulate and they said they will send you the permits you need for visiting Algeria. I wish you good luck on your search and that your filings will come at a lower price than mine. I am at a loss with my studies. My daughter has become distraught and distant. I did little to control her behaviour. Yet I believe the very notion of my observation has made her this way. My scientific indifference to our tests has not left her with an indifferent opinion. She finds my lack of reaction disappointing. She judges me, and most importantly herself, by the results of the tests. Oh Jesus, my mouth is really dry. The reason I have had trouble finding any consistency within her character is because she tries different approaches to provoke me and her actions only become more and more disturbing. Yesterday I lost myself and I scolded her. She was terrified and humiliated. It saddens me greatly to bring my studies to a close without seeing it to the end, but I can no longer justify my research. I have to mend my relationship with my daughter. Okie dokie, artichokey. How's my sanity? Fucking crystal clear. Shouldn't be after the shit we're going through. Why do these bodies have penises? What was mother like? She was the most beautiful creature ever to grace this world. I can't remember what she looked like, no matter how hard I try. Her beauty was blinding, Justine. We could never dare to change such memory to our minds. It would be too much to bear. Okie dokie. Doctor, the priest, 
with soapstone stained by his blood, fell to the floor with a sonorous thud. Blame me not, for I was but a child. With careful ambition, I dared a smile. Rest in peace, Papa. Righto. Jesus. What will that perfect s sphere bring? We must hurry. It's not too late. Oh, I cannot be asked to read these. Sounds like someone's in tears. And so it comes to an end. Now that you have seen what you truly are, you are able to go on and face eternity. Without fear. Without doubt. Oh. Shit. Well, I am stumped. Fuck is going on? It's all right. No one will be coming through that door. It's locked and bolted. Such intricate machinery. I can't for the life of me understand why he built this. I'm very confused. They can't hurt me anymore. I did not see that door there. How long was that there? <laughs> Certainly hope not. Oh, silly me. 
<laughs> yes, silly Clarice. The fuck? Did we actually finish it? Jesus Christ. <laughs> I am very confused. It was actually quite short. So I imagine you could have you could have saved all of the people that we may have killed, but I couldn't work out how. Especially that last one. Fucking Christ. Unless you manage to block up the door where the monstery thing came out. Other than that, I've got no idea. Not a sodden clue. He broke through them big doors quite quick. Right then. Can this be skipped? It can be skipped. The end, or is it? I've got no idea what the story of this one was about. It's like sort of like Justine sort of like abducting her lovers and turning them into Christ knows what and murdering other random people. I've got no idea. Not a clue. Well then. This has been day 22 of Terry's Descent into Madness. We have been playing Amnesia Justine. Fairly short, fairly short, but um, weird as shit. The monsters are much more present than they were in, when we were playing Dark Descent. Jesus Christ. But uh, yes, very weird this one. Might have to do it again to see if we can save all of the people, but may have to leave that for another time. But anyway... If you enjoyed this video, give the video a like, give the video a share and subscribe to the channel. Head on over to the channel for more videos that you may enjoy. And check out the Facebook page, give that a like so you can keep up to date with all things Terry related. Like new videos, news, delays, like some of these, but we will not mention that. And if you would like little old me, little old Terence to play a bit more of Amnesia Justine to see if we can save all three of those poor bastards then uh, let me know down in the comments below and join me tomorrow for day 23 of Terry's Descent into Madness well, that's it from me so long farewell <laughs>